everyone. Uh, first, Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, our subject today is to talk about. Uh, it is. It is not a new uh, model. It's um, uh, old model. We did this just before, and we are. Our intention is to talk about it again uh, because it's uh, highly recommended. It's a photovoltaic model for uh, uh, bumping power or a centrifugal bump. Uh, we, uh, we uh, m my intention is to is to uh, demonstrate how to how can you run a model, how can you open it, how can you specify some uh, 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 inputs. Okay, firstly, you have to uh, take care of your uh, folder destination. It's um, uh, ma many of you. Uh, after downloading uh, uh, our models, I tried to run the model uh, directly from the folder. Suppose it's on desktop, and uh, there is some uh, absence of, uh, of photos or figures or something like this. There's a complaint about this. Okay, for such purpose, you have to uh, go to your this folder or, or the downloaded folder from from here. It's, it's highly recommended. So this is my folder, okay? This is PV bump, okay? So my 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 folder is in Drive E folder. What uh, my work, let's website and and I, I will find it here. So you have to uh, download your your uh, your link in your working folder. Not on on uh, desktop, okay. Otherwise, you will f you will uh, realize uh, some absence of uh, some related figures or something like that. So I have to go uh, to this specified link, as you can see here from here. So I have to go here. Uh, I have to choose Drive E, okay, and uh, my work. Uh, it's it's up to everyone okay website and then i can i will find it here i'm sorry click here and go to pv uh, bumps yes this one so i will find everything here my uh, photos okay as you can see can should be appear here okay your photos, your uh, text files, and everything uh, recommended for this model. Just double clicking here, okay, and it will work uh, in charming way and smoothly. Okay, uh, I'm just waiting for uh, for it. Yeah, let's keep. Okay, close this one. Okay. Okay, our, our model is um the uh, it's, it's simple, direct. Okay, it's about photovoltaic for bumping system, uh, for irrigation, for any c kind of application. So we have to uh, assign some uh, some inputs, but first of all, we have to go here from view model browser check all of these uh, icons and here we check all of this okay now we prepared our uh, model our time is zero okay going inside going inside we have two main blocks okay we have just two main blocks okay uh, firstly it's a centrifugal bump calculations okay it's about uh, the load on the bump related to the feed or uh, some kind of temperature properties of the water and, and something like this i have to uh, remove this one okay okay the second one is to the second uh, model is a photovoltaic system for photovoltaic we have two types we have a calculation based on uh, watt per meter square or sometimes some people need to, to work on kilowatt hour per meter square uh, therefore, uh, it's up to you. Mm, okay, suppose I, I do prefer uh, what per meter square in order to feel it more. 
okay okay and double clicking here what we have here okay we have inlet feed temperature to the pump okay what is the temperature of the water through the pump okay and pump static head what is the head that we are going to deliver okay suppose i need to deliver water for um, uh, 25 meters 30 meter 100 meters it's up to you to your design and mass flow rate what is the mass flow rate through the pump uh, uh, or uh, what is the mass flow rate um, that you have to deliver uh, to the source to, uh, to the sink i'm sorry suppose i need uh, uh, 50 meter cube per hour okay okay and bump speed is for uh, bump design i i think 1800 design it should be uh, regular and you can go to the market and enter these specifications uh, okay section pipe diameters you can control this outlet pipe diameters you can control this uh, some minor losses okay how many elbows how many regular bins um, threaded uh, flanged okay uh, suppose number of elbows you can enter your number of elbows three four five it's up to you suppose it's one and uh, bins we have we have uh, elbow one elbow and we have uh, two bend threaded okay and i'm just imagine uh, it's up to you uh, line uh, flow threaded line flow flanges okay uh, valves um, a globe valve open uh, and uh, angle of fully open pull open that's going for this one okay just one one valve and exit flow it's uh, ex exit rounded or exit char it's uh, i think ex exit rounded and bomb efficiency pump efficiency and suppose it's uh, 0.85 okay so we uh, for this part we uh, prepared uh, our design let's going for uh, let's go for um, photovoltaic we choose this we have choose this okay going inside photovoltaic we have as you can see here from this uh, browser menu what per meter square this is the first one and uh, kilowatt hour per meter square let's go for what per meter square okay okay for pv section pv section as you can see here we can choose one of these i choose i have choose this one so i have to double click okay what we have here uh operation operating hours okay and design what is a module type is it uh, in markets we have uh, specifications from 5 watt up to uh, 280 so suppose i'm going for 280 module type battery depth of charge battery voltage okay uh, suppose it's a 12 voltage battery performance efficiency battery efficiency around uh, 78 cost of of your battery is around from um, 50 us dollar up to 150 it's up to your uh, battery okay and hit apply okay we prepared everything let's collect our our data okay and um, let's go inside this is centrifugal bump calculations okay okay what we have here uh, we are going to discover the following a bump torque and uh, centrifugal bump uh, uh, but be sure that this square small square signal visualized signal is checked i mean you have to just if you click simply click here you will find three dotted check the, the middle one or, or streaming if i check here it's stopped so i have to uh, reactivate it again okay or you can click on the link and go here and select streaming uh, selected for the um, uh, signal okay bumping power what is your power needed for uh, such configuration you have designed pressure difference uh, actual head this is actual head what is your head losses now a specific speed of your bump 
mean flow speed, Reynolds number, and uh, half diameter of the pump, and shaft diameter. And we can, uh, from a specific speed, we can uh, assign our th um, pump type. Is it uh, radial flow, or mixed flow, or uh, axial flow pump? Okay. Let's hit run and see uh, uh, our outputs. Okay, let's hit run here. Okay. We're trying to discover something. Okay, fine. Based, based on our um, uh, inputs, this is our our outputs. One kilowatt for 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 this. Let's go and try to remember. Okay. We just need uh, 20 meter cube per hour for 25 meters head. Okay. And based on these specifications, we will find our outputs like this. We just need one kilowatt for bombing power. A pressure difference is uh, two bars. Actual head is around 25.1 is actual head. And this is bump total losses. Specific speed is uh, 2.16. So uh, between one and four we are mixed flow bumps. Our our type is uh, mixed flow bumps. So we are here in this category. I think we are from this one. One point we are here. Okay. And. Um, this is mean specific mean feed flow speed uh, based on uh, diameter of the uh, suction and up and uh, deliver uh, pipes Reynolds number up diameter in centimeter shaft diameter in centimeter okay so you can control your design based on uh, such specifications for one kilowatt let's go for photovoltaic system and see Let's go here for what per meter squared. You have to choose this one. Uh, also, you can choose your uh, solar radiation. Adjust the solar radiation. Okay, adjust your uh, module power performance. Okay, let's go here inside and see what we have here. Uh, we we got some output slots uh, such as uh, uh, open circuit voltage, uh, short circuit current. Uh, maximum voltage, maximum um, uh, current, module efficiency, uh, cell efficiency, uh, some designs. So for one kilowatt, we 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 we're going to use uh, five modules, 377 centimeter cube per cell area. Module area is around 3.6 meters square meter. And total area we have to use 20 meter, 20 meter square meters. So, if you have a, a, a specific place for a, a bombing system, and you, you and you you urgently um, need to know how much area should I consume for one kilowatt hour, uh, one kilowatt, okay we have to deal with uh, around uh, 20 meters uh, square meters this is battery storage number of batteries total total cost suppose i am going uh, i just i need to uh, no, I'm, i have to go here double clicking here and uh, sorry allow me to do this let's see shrinking this for why or the do Let's shrink this one again. Okay. To save some area here. Okay. Suppose I I I I don't need bumps. I don't need uh, batteries. I'm sorry. Let's. I'm trying for photovoltaic. Let's let's see. Uh, battery power. Okay. If if there is no intention to use batteries. Okay. Just to click here on, uh, I'm sorry again, I have to click here and assign your operating operating hours to zero. So there is no uh, use of uh, batteries, okay? 
suppose you, you 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 would like to work on dynamic modeling or you have to you can use signal builder okay as a source you can use uh, uh, with random you can use you okay you can use signal builder here and you can enter your uh, the parameters such as solar radiation ambient temperature uh, type of module and control you can control um, your inputs uh, as you would like based on your uh, inputs or your design model okay but you can go uh, manually um, I mean you have to sign this in simulation time into infinity okay and let's control this manually uh, just for demonstration but you can do this uh, by yourself by using automatic uh, um, controlling by using signal builder okay uh, just preparing this one I'm sorry I have to close this okay let's head run and see uh, let's go in centrifugal bomb and see the variation of, uh, of power based on the variation of uh, uh, mass flow rate or uh, head or something okay let's uh, try to I, i'm trying to increase the, uh, the mass flow rate as you can see uh, increasing mass flow rate would increase the power as uh, the pumping power as well okay as you can see uh, let's go and increasing uh, the head okay uh, static head increasing but the massive effect of uh, on the pump is it is not the static head it's uh, it's uh, the mass flow rate of course okay and increasing okay so we need uh, for 51 uh, a specific sp bump speed I think it's it has effect on uh, on torque increase it will, will reduce the torque okay and you can okay that's enough for this let's stop i can go here dynamically and see uh, what we have here so after this tiny variation we can uh this is uh, i'm sorry for our okay cell efficiency we do efficiency uh, let's go for uh, module area this is cell area okay module area it's called total system area okay this is some kind of variation in total system area because we have changed uh, the power load on, uh, on the photovoltaic system based on a specific uh, solar radiation a constant solar radiation at 500 watt per meter square and this is uh, battery because it's zero at zero there is no batteries okay okay let's go for total costs varying according to your uh, output uh, number of cells per module i think is constants let's go for um, for uh, uh, static head static head variation centrifugal rbm of the of your bump uh, where is the power this is mean flow rate okay a hub diameter uh, okay i think it's a uh, short centimeter okay pumping power yes there is this is your pumping power uh, and we have here uh, okay centrifugal bump uh, uh, unit okay okay and we have here a centrifugal bumping power okay and um, pressure let's go for uh, pressure i have to wait for for a while let's go for pressure okay this is our pressure okay so let's go for uh, you can after this you can click here and send to figure send for for figure you can control your outputs uh, it's easily controllable you can uh, arrange it or change the, um, uh, um, the line width uh, something like this let's close this one okay 
I'm going here and here for operatives. So we have here our plots so you can deal with them easily. So you can click on uh, on the lines here as you can see here. Okay. I'm checking all of this. But but you have to hold shift, hold shift and select. Uh, okay, hold holding shift. And I'm going for a line. So it will give me a smooth a smooth line. Okay, and going for uh, two. Okay, and so it's it become uh, so easy. And you can choose just four figures, six figures. Uh, it's up to you. These uh, four figures you can control them. Line or bars, if you would like. These bars or uh, I think line is fine. Okay. And let's increase uh, the line dips. Okay. So it's uh, fully editable, so you can uh, control and uh, uh, do what you would like to do with uh, such outputs. Again, you can use uh, simulating uh, capabilities in order to uh, uh, extract your output or design based on your um, uh, idea or based on your um, uh, data selection. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.